All right, Paul, so tell me about how did you start the movies and all that stuff. You know, I started at 59, 60, actually. It was, uh, since New York City didn't want to have movies there, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, they started getting more action. And uh, Marvel uh, casting uh, was going to film the Avengers up in Cleveland. They needed 1,500 extras. 1,500. Well, I figured... Maybe I'd get one of them. 1,500. It's not like it was 15. So I went up there. Just the, the whole experience. I kept trying to talk myself out of it. Just, then when I got there, it was like a line. Like I couldn't couldn't imagine how long it was. It just, I guess in the two days, 8,000 people showed up for the two days. Well, I got one of the parts. And it wasn't just an extra. I was supposed to be in a tuxedo dance. And they didn't like the way the tuxedo fit on me. They dressed me up with somebody. And finally they said that was a size 41. I guess that was a magic thing. Uh, but this is not how you started. The producing, the producing well, that. Well, never... this is... Well, then I said, okay, that's a fluke. I got the part as a doorman. And it was specialized extra. Ten bucks an hour, time and a half. We were supposed to film three days. We did two days. 17 hours, 15 hours. I loved it. So, it was over. Hey, that's it. Uncle Paul made a movie. It was a great movie. One of the biggest Robert Downey Jr., but I don't know what he made on the end of the percentage wise, but I guess it just was number three in the history of sales. Look it up. So, and I see another ad in the paper. Wanted 70 children, five men, a couple of women, and it's about this uh, shooting over in Norway. Well, they wanted policemen. Well, I figured I was a doorman. I could be a policeman. So I went. I met, uh, I thought he was an older man, but a young man named uh, Ali Versace. No, and actually, I'm here with you. Oh, you yeah, well, that's when I met you. But actually, I had met you earlier in the vampire movie, which... I, 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 and I kind of even forgot about that. But even my buddies at the gas station were saying, well, you Avengers, you make a movie, you're going to catch your career. I said, no, actually, I'm starting to film September 10th at Mill Creek Park. I got involved with the SWAT team guy. And then there was uh, Nicky Torino, the gangster. Then there was a wood carver. I played uh, an Egyptian or, uh, or a terrorist type. We did a little... Uh, American soldier. Uh, uh, one uh, lady, uh, Alina, uh, Alina uh, Weaver uh, Guilford did a movie, uh, Who Will Wipe My Tears Away or Angry Tears. I was uh, in a dance scene. Uh, that was nice too because at the end of her movie she had uh, extras and she mentioned all her names, which I think that's nice. I know sometimes you can't mention all the names, but. I don't know if people watch the credits. I, I've always loved watching the credits just to see. Now I'm looking at the credits to see my name. Yeah, I got into doing some uh, producing, uh, some props, set design. I had an honor to work with you. I love, I, you know what? I love working with you. Yeah, I, yeah me too. I like working with you. You did a good job. You helped us with uh, a lot of films, producing uh, Prop Master, carving stuff for us, props and stuff. Who knew? Who knew you could bring it? You know, like I'd say, uh, then I started thinking, Jack Benny got his break at 59. Louis Armstrong, I think when he got the Grammy, I think he was in his 80s. I don't know if it was for A Wonderful Life or uh, Low Dolly, whatever. It's just amazing. Uh, you know, it's not that I... I'm sure I want to make money out of this, but... I'm fame. I'm already famous. I mean... Friends and family, even, uh, I'm at funerals, funeral, I'm autographs, hey, uh, uh, That's good, that's, uh, it, it, I'm, it, it, I'm, like, very happy to have you on our team, and, uh... Well, you know I want to correct eventually, but, uh, yeah. it, you know, 
did have some un uncredited directory things though. Um, number one, I had you have a wonderful curtsy. Yeah, this is definitely even the feedback on the microphone. Oh yeah, that was in uh, 40 days of Hunger Games. Like, you know, I was going to be a contestant, but he, he fired me from being a contestant. But then he cut up this character, the Woodcarver, which I think that could be another spinoff. I mean, the Woodcarver, he's Ninja Woodcarver. Come on. But maybe he's a zombie. I don't know what the young kids do. So, be, be, besides your uh, very talented and uh, producer and carver and uh, and, and uh, set decorator and artist, prop master for me, uh, you have uh, the secret life that uh, I just found out actually a couple months ago uh, yeah. when I had to actually use your restroom. Uh, yeah. So, what do you. Uh, That's when I told you you had to use the bucket to flush the toilet. Uh, you know, maybe I've been a bachelor. Too long, maybe. You know, I'd see you live, when you're a guy, you, you can live on a shoestring, you really can. Uh, I, so how can, uh, how can we help you? How can America or Dr. Phil or somebody, I hope they watching you. you know, you I've they, watched the shows, they got the reality shows. They, you know, I guess it affects five to 10 million people in the country. And I guess it's a half a million to 700,000 that also. You're right, but you're the first entertainment person that I ever met that you is, know uh, is facing it. I know you've met other people that have the same secret because I think when we were growing up, uh, put your best sword out, you know, shine your shoes and all that. And you know, sometimes I walk out of the house and I bet you people think I live in a condo or that you know, I have it all together. I don't know anybody that has it all together. We all have it all together. You're right, everybody has issues. We have our blessings, but then. You know, it's like the bell curve. You, you have the good, but on the other end, you have some things that you don't. You're right. Everybody has issues and everybody has the secrets. And then your secret is that uh, you don't look, let go of things like garbage yeah. or stuff. That, you know, for people, it's garbage. And for you, you see something special. Like one, man's, one man's uh, trash, another man's treasure. So? Um, it's because I would carve. Uh, I was I was getting blocks of wood, basswood, catalpa. Uh, so, butternut wood, it was nice, but then I was uh, trimming some trees one day and I saw, hey, this is making a nice little walking stick. I never did a walking stick. So, the question is, do you want to have a clean house and nothing in the house? Like, clean and everything? Like, perfectly well, clean? Or no, you like the way you live? Be perfectly. No, you know what? It's starting to haunt me now. I, I bet you it's been, I say 20 years, 30, it could have been 40 years. You know, he asked me before, when did it start? I said, I used to say bottle caps as a little kid. Then the baseball collections. You go to to a amusement park, you go to the Disney World, you bring back a t-shirt. Um, a lot of the psychologists would tell me, don't save like the magic cup, the beer can. <laughs> Maybe it's just middle class, or lower income, it's, it's, it's our Rembrandt's, our Van Gogh's. Uh, I, I have a Prince Albert can. When I bought the house, the Prince Albert can was there. And I don't know if they still make Prince Albert in the can. I'll have to show it to you. It's, up, it's in the kitchen. You probably couldn't see it. Once. Well, I hope we can somehow resolve this and uh, somehow we're going to help you too. And what's the most important thing to be happy? And, uh, well, you, I know you're a happy person. You're just uh, a little bit more healthy. Maybe easier you know to what? find things in the house. And, uh, and I worry uh, about it. It's good to be. And if you were to approach me, Two years ago, but no. Even I remember when we talked about this about eight months ago, and I wasn't ready. But uh, I've had some catastrophes at the farm there, and I just had to throw stuff away. Some of the stuff I was trying to say, like I say before, you, you see something. We all drive. Somebody throws an old chair out. They throw an old whatever. You think oh, I could fix a leg on that? Yeah. Or and then it sits for two days. You never fix it. Two years later. 20 years ago, I'm, I'm, I'm putting stuff out of the garage there that I, I actually forgot I had. Uh, it's like... Oh, 
Let's go outside. You want to go outside? Come on. Settle down. I'm hurrying. I need a bigger toaster. I think we're gonna need a bigger toaster. I get a cork. Now you, Frankie, out and about. You guys move. Go on.
It's not feet. There you go. Get out of there. Here. No, Frankie, here. Ow, ow, ow. Nope. Here you go. Come on, you guys gotta move. Come on, you gotta move. Come on, come on. Come on, get in your cage. Go on, go get in, go in your cage. Come on. Not you. Come on, get in your cage. Come on. Riley, Brooklyn, hop, hop. In your cage. Riley, Brooklyn. Hey, come on. Come here. Frank, out. Come on, get in your cage. Get in your cage. Come on, Riley, get in your cage. You, that's it, that's it. not live by bread alone. He needs toast once in a while. Now get out of here. you have here but it's things that I you can't open the door huh no because it opens that way too 
but uh, I would be able to squirrel my way. But uh, actually, there's stuff. I have some things that I didn't want the animal. There's a, 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 I remember 25 years. I took the globe from there, gave it to my dad. He gave it back. When did you open that last time? Uh, years. Yeah. Yes. But see, I don't worry about it. That's just that's just like my my time capsule, I guess. Okay. See, here's what I want to show you. See, people will throw these away. Oh, I'm gonna show this over here. Take this out, and people spend money for that thing. Money. They, you take your own cup, 99 cents a cup. This would normally cost me a, a buck, a dollar 49. 50 cents. So let's say I get five coffees. Saving $2.50 a week. Actually, $3.50 because I get coffee every day. I never really drank coffee when I was young, but it's, it's like uh, the beverage of the gods.
looks like my thumb. That looks better when I paint them. Hey, Frankie, go in the other room. Go on, out and about. Frankie, out and about. Frankie, out. Go, go, go check on the puppies. Go on, that's a good girl. Good girl. Outside. It's too muddy. Frankie, out and about. Go on, out. 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 Good girl. It's my good girl. <laughs> All right. Oh, you don't like the heater. It makes too much noise, huh? All right. Frankie, that's enough. Nada. Go sit down. Go. Quick dry.
start Frankie Excuse me. Come here. No. All right, lay down. Lay down. Come on, down. Come on, you wanna dance? Come on. Come on. Up. Come on. Up. Come on. Come on. Ah. My good boy. Watch my good girl. No, you don't get none of this. You can't have this. Futuristic. Of course, we just had it sitting on the table. Well, there's no table sitting on it. Looks like some of these aren't going to make the cut. I hate to toss them, but I think I'll keep that one because that's the old style. Yeah. These are hollowed out eggs. I, I color these eggs too. Kinda like me, one broken wing. But still surviving. Come on, my little monkeys, come on. Hey! Get out of there! Get What are you doing in there? Come on, come here, come here, come here! Come on, you knucklehead. Come on. Riley, Brooklyn, come on, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go, come on, come on. All right, it's muddy. 
ground. I'm actually throwing it away. I can't believe it. I'm actually throwing it. See, I'm getting better. I told you. That's it's a lot better than I the first time I saw her. More space to walk. So you're, oh, doing, you're doing a good time job. You came, you wanted to use the bathroom, and I said, make sure you use the bucket. So uh, that's still under construction, though. Hey, you, you, you guys! <laughs> oh, come on! Come on, let's go, you guys! Come on, everybody! Free for all! Come on! Come on! You're getting a bath tonight. You're getting bath. All right, no, 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 no. Come on, let's go. Where's the stick? Who's got the stick? Come on. Hey. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, you're going to get me all my. No, no. Come on. Hey, where's the stick? I'm going to get the stick now. I'll get it. Who wants to play? Who wants to play? Who's playing? Who's playing? Who's playing? Go, Riley, go! Go! Hurry up! Go get the stick! Come here, come here, Riley, Riley, come here, Riley, my buddy, Riley, come here, hey, come here. Okay, I got the stick now. Go, 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 hurry, hurry. Frankie, Frankie, over here. Come on. Eventually, 
some type of weapon or can cut those down. I want to keep my options open. And this here, they got a lot of stuff there, but oops, it's like 3D, huh? Stick for the dogs to chase. Well, as you see, all of the work is done for me already, but maybe a drone. I don't know if it's going to be a walking stick. These are interesting, but here are some sticks that I found. A little carving and stuff, and we actually we use these in the movie set as a prop. Uh, this is one, uh, I don't think we use this one, but this was available with the kids. And some of this paint's amazing. This is just... And even this one here... This is part of a route I thought maybe a ray gun or something, but it's just a beautiful piece. I don't know when you feel it. It was just I just took the bark off and no sand. It's just amazing. But uh, maybe even a slingshot out of it. But even this piece here, this is all wood, and even this the knife here. When I saw this big piece of maple, I could see the knife in there, and I trimmed it down a little carving. I know when a friend come over, he thought, he goes, where'd you get that knife at? And then he, until he felt it, he realized. And, and just a simple stain. And, you know, sometimes I just do a little relief carving. It's because maple and oak is a little hard to carve. But, and then I do my, um, we use this as a prop there. We needed a microphone for the future. I had this set in a PVC pipe, but see that little bend there. But I told the actress, if you'd hold it like this. It looked like one piece, and oh yeah, this is a doorknob. Maybe most people see it this way, but here I thought that would be your power thing, and if you, because you know that was in year 2035. And you know, since I got into doing the props, I don't know where to put them all. Even this one was a neat one too. I, this was uh, when I saw this piece of wood. <laughs> I don't know what kind of thing, but the very little carving. I these two branches, and I just saw the blades there. And it was neat, after I made it, I figured if, you know, if this was a, like a, maybe a boomerang type of thing. But then I started thinking, if somebody would throw this at it would hit them like this, and then it would come and split their head. So you get them in the heart, split their head. What, what a, a weapon of the future. Who knows, I think after they bomb everything, it'll be sticks and stones. That's how we'll be killing our enemies. Then I got, I mean, I, I, when I got away from carving, just blocks of wood mostly like this is really where I went to a different point of carbon 
Now, you could see some flying, I say flying saucers or flying crafts, but I see some of these. First, it was like an airplane. Um, some of these things, and you know, you go out in the woods, you, these are rare, because if you notice, like on a stick, they, they come out one end or so, but sometimes you find, now these will be carved at a later date. And here's some of the examples that I've done earlier. These are all tree parts. These are tree parts. Now you round some off there, and I thought this might be like a shuttle craft, and maybe the scientists are on that. They're not done painting. Now this was I was going to use this like maybe like a like a carrier. These are containers, and so this thing hooks up to the container, and then also it can bring things up here. But this was made out of tree part, and what I like about it, you look into the. And like I leave these up, but I'll round these off, and sometimes you just make like a little. Oh, the paint's amazing, you know. But when I get around to it, and the reason I keep them in the house, keep them high and dry, you notice outside it's. I tried to save some of this stuff, but you can't save it all. Here's one I'm working on. Now, this, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Maybe it could be a gun, but I try to accent some of the things. It just. I, I could just look around or some of the things um, like my eyeballs I this was one time when I was trimming some trees and I threw the thing down and it landed up and I said it looks like an eyeball and they actually with this one here I, I know some guys musical group I thought about making this so he could he could uh, put a little thing there and he could put his guitar stand right there but I'll probably just leave these around. Something I like. It just uh, yeah, look, I can't even put it back there. See, it's it's closing in on me. I can feel it closing in on me. Um, even back over here, I can't even get in. I built such a fence. I I'll get back to. That's why this whole process. And believe me, when you come here in a month or six months. You'll think it, it, it is going to change. I'm convinced. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw a third away, donate a third, and maybe keep a third. I guess that's the system here, too. Um, oh, yeah, cigar boxes. Who doesn't save cigar boxes? And then I thought I could do something with this here because it was... Maybe do a little carving in here. But I know most people throw them away, but I got that could be useful for something. This is a tabletop. I, I know I have the legs here someplace, but I, it's not that I'm forgetting where it is, it's like even this. Oh, what's this? Okay, electric bill was due a week ago. Gonna have to call them and, oh boy. Well, they didn't turn off the electric, so I at least have another day, I guess. I'm gonna have to get this tomorrow. Phone bill. Okay. Oh, I got a week for that one, so maybe I can pay them both Monday. Then I got my paints here. I don't know, this is, they have all this space. I should have a workshop back there instead of, I'm working on the edge, man. A man on the edge. And then I gotta worry about the, the dogs. They like to chew some of my works, which is kind of funny because <laughs> they're car they're doing their own carving, I guess. So I just set them over here, and one of these days, I'll maybe I'll have a wall of props. But you know, we use these props on the show, and these kids, they love, I tell you, this well, I, I love it, it's, it's one of my favorites. Oh, here's something over here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to bring them back. Well, here's something I had forgotten about. I was making this for somebody. Her name began with the M because there's a little M there, but it's just maple. 
It's a nice little stick. Who says they just have to look came? I think walking sticks will be up there shape and size. That is a nice piece of... Almost looks like a bone out of somebody, though, but... I'm gonna find it. Well, here's a new place for it. Maybe I can stick this back here. These. I don't know, maybe, uh... Put these on eBay, uh... Weapons from 40 Days of Hunger, Hunger Games. Hey, buddy, come on, come on, got it. move. See, I tell you, it's when 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 I open up the room and these guys have room, I don't know what they're gonna do, but they've been so good. I try to keep these from it so they don't chew them up. 